the lighting so that way I can see what's going on as well. Love the history of who? Super pride. Yes, she is for the rich old lady. But it's good for your skin. I love your eyebrows. Thank you. The gel liners. Yes, they are. I actually originally did not plan on doing it, but uh, I had such a huge demand to make gel liners that uh, I decided to um, give the children what they want. And they are very reasonably priced. I am disgusted by how much people are selling gel liners. Like a hundred and some dollars for like 10 gel liners, like $120 for 10 gel liners. I thought that was gimme acid reflex. But our gel liners are going to be called gel stripers, strippers. The mini toy drill is a game changer, isn't she? She is the Aston Martin Maserati of the nail industry. Awesome. She's like, the new stuff looks great. Thank you. Yami kawaii. Oh, look at what's on the table. Love the hair color. Thank you. What are the gel liners? They are like the old school 1980s striping brushes. So this is the Diamond Memories line, and there are six right now, but there's actually going to be more in the Diamond Memories line. The gel strippers will be available in next month, September. So this is, I think this is one or two from Diamond Memories. So I'll show you guys really quickly what they look like. And they come in these really cool cases. And the cases that um, I designed, I actually uh, are make, I'm making these in pink, but they take a really long time. Hi from ATL to make in pink. So we decided to launch it in white, but they will not spill, which is really important. And this one has point back and it has flat back in both A, B. And it has gold and silver bullion. And it also has this really dope grape iridescent diamond. And then of course, of course, of course, of course. Crystal A, B. Because you know the girls love the crystal A, B. And I was really surprised I didn't have that many silver. Good old fashioned plain old silver crystals. So, of course, we made diamond memories in the good old fashioned silver for the fantasy. And then some mixed colors. And these are only 10 bucks, you guys. You get all these stones for $10 to make you holler. Isn't that great? What a great price is that? Look at that. These are super popular colors. And also, I didn't want to make them like in really big or really like uh, sizes that you'll never use. So, um, we did a market study on what sizes that uh, sell the most, and we decided to use those in our kits. So that way you're not stuck with really big diamonds. Leave the big diamonds to Uncle Max. So this one is all pearls, pink and white. And this one's a little bit more fun. This one's a little bit more me. This one's got some cute little shapes in there. And of course the most popular colors that people really requested for us. Are they crystals of it? The diamond memories are not available in Canada yet. They just dropped here in America today, and they'll probably be available in Canada in uh, a week or, or so. And there's something else I'm just going to show the world. Somebody said Rosewater Opal. We actually have them available in the Diamonds for Your Nails, the Flatback Mix Set. This one has the white and the pink crystal opal. But I spilled mine, but yes, it does come with crystal opal in rose water and in white. So this, they, we do have them available already. And what else was I going to show you guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you guys want to see the, um, I'm finishing up the, um, the work on the secret French tool that I'm dropping really soon. Of course, we have lots of big diamonds, especially in the Diamond Holic line. Do you guys want to see one of the uh, final tests for the super exciting French tool that I'm dropping later this year? 
I have one, two, show us Max, show us. I need one more, I need three to make it happen. Yes. So this is the 5XL square painted in French. And this is one coat of our uh, 00 white gel plush, which is actually available now. And this is done with our very, very cool tool that is dropping a little bit later. So this is our 001 white gel polish. 002 is black. Isn't she pretty? And this is a pink three and then the white painted on. It's a really nice smile line, isn't she? So you guys will get to see how it's done very soon. So since it is the holiday season, for the dark arts, we have this esoteric one. This one dropped yesterday. The esoteric. Oh, the uh, the golden Pegasus. Really, Star Wars? I think it like kind of like uh, the craft. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Mmm. This one is very Andrea's wedding, the orchid blush. And then we drop this one that's very hipster for the hipster children. Oh, I got another batch. Thank you. Whoop, there it is. And then we have this beautiful rose one because you guys know the roses are for the season. And then we dropped this one, which is Shadows of the Dark. And it is very Oogie Boogie chic. And this is actually done using a new material that I have been uh, working on. And the sticker is made out of actually silicone. Silicone and rubber. So you can see it's literally like a painting on the phalange. And with this technology, it does not wrinkle as easy as a regular sticker, especially the bigger ones. But when you cut them, you need to make sure you're using a really sharp scissor. And then I'll show you guys to a little hack when you get your new pack of our newer sticker um, technology. So it's a little bit different versus the uh, other rubber stickers, silicone stickers. I think we're gonna do this one today because I only have time to do one nail because my brother's pressed. He's like, we gotta go, we gotta go. But I know a lot of girls want the bad teddy, the evil teddy bear. So maybe we'll do this one, bad teddy. Is the lighting okay too? Let me know in the comments. It's, I can't really see on, on my end. And then this one is Scary Stories. See, it's like kind of creepy, but cute at the same time, but a little like, eh. Like, she needs a little bit more Jesus. But she's still cute. So which one should we do? Should we do Scary Story or Bad Teddy? Let me know in the comments below. The shadow one, yes. I'm not gonna do anything that has like uh, anything super, super occult. Cause I don't want an exorcism up in here in, in the factory. Be through in holy water, what well, we do actually. So I have two, three, four, five. everybody wants a teddy. Teddy it is. They're on the table next to JC. the one next to the door. So when you get your new inocator.com stickers, when you get the ones that are made with the newer technology, that's kind of more like a, almost like a canvas, okay? Always, you still have to seal it with two coats of gel, even if you use um, Dom Top, gel top coat, but the whole sticker sheet has the edge so with this one, you can do this hack. With the older ones, you can't because it'll pull everything off. But with the new one, you can. And we're just going to pull off the whole rim. Just like that. And it'll actually make it easier to peel off. Okay. Yeah. There is more in production, though. Oh, and today I got back from our cast iron. 
people. There's a, a, a company here locally that we're working with, and they they made us a rack. So that way we can start working on racks for the girls all night long. I did not. Single white female vibes. No, you gotta tell me. Spill the tea. Buffalo Bill. So we're gonna do these ones today. So take off the edge, and when you take the sticker off, it's gonna make it so much easier. It's Beatrice Ignacio from the Micro Island Nation of Guam. Half a day. When are you gonna come down and visit us, Beatrice? We miss you. So let's go ahead and just do quickly our ring finger. Totem link. Beautiful. We're gonna do the 5XL square today. Oh, you're welcome. She loves you some mystery boxes. Aren't they dope? We're actually adding some new stuff to the mystery boxes um, tomorrow. Uh, well, I've had a few stalkers, but <laughs> sometimes they get pretty bad, and then you gotta get the lawyer involved. DIY. I got another batch. Thank you. Whoop, there it is. And then slide her on into place. Press down firmly. Give her a quick little flash cure. And the new tube gel. No, DIY gel is only for the application of the one, two, three, go. If you want to overlay your natural nail, you can definitely use um, press on gel or a pink. A pink is also a rubber base gel, so it works great for that. Look at that length. She is everything. So let's bake this for one minute inside the dazzling growing line. How long do the nails stay on? They stay on until you take them off. So I recommend at least uh, changing them out every 21 days. And remember you guys, when you're working with stickers, you gotta make sure your, your tweezers are sharp, so always keep that cap. Because if not, Gloria will put your tweezer away and they'll, the edges will bend and it won't be cute anymore. And that is not point out. And the next time you come down to Tucson, Beatrice, we can go to karaoke and you can sing Little Chamarita Girl to me. Hello, hello. My little Chamarita Girl, my native island girl. Jeez, I can change the music, I forgot about that. Not my videos and it's taken down. That's all she uses, she said. So much tea. It's on fire. So we're going to use a 100 grit file and we are going to shape up the sidewalls. Awesome. Summertime love, you remember me. Give her a nice little square fantasy. Beautiful. Let's blend in that cuticle. We're going to use the 
power top drill bit. And again, you guys, right now, in the middle of the snatching, I can't get to every single comment as much as I would love to. So please bear with me. Look at that blend though. She is no joke. That Z curve though. Oh, so sick. So let's go in with the smoothie buffer. Remove the top shine really quickly. Everything is nice and buffed. And wherever you hit the nail with the file, go back in with the buffer. In this case, the smoothie to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Beautiful. Let's remove the dust. And for the base color with the teddy bear, I want to keep it, I want to keep it fresh. So maybe a nice little glitter at the back. She's pretty. This is La Di Da 116. So this is from the La Di Da collection, and this is 116. Bye. And then we're gonna take our pistachio brush. Gonna do a nice little feathery ombre, very soft, very nice, very natural. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Prisma just because I have it here on top, just to give it some more um. I actually have the Glide, which is my slip solution in here inside my little dappin dish. Just to give her a quick little clean prior to the use. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Prisma at the back, okay? Very, very gently. Right into that wet, Fun gel la -dee -da. Not pretty. That'll be a nice base for the bad teddy stickers. Let's bake this for 30 seconds. And then 
we're going to do a nice thin layer of shiny over the entire nail so that way we get a smooth rubbery surface to be able to apply the stickers to. You guys, I know this is a weird question, but how often do you wash your hair? Let's go in with a nice little thin layer of shiny. Keep it thin so you can see I'm kind of like putting on them with force so that way I'm not adding any thickness just to create that rubbery texture, okay? And then 30 seconds. Once a week, I wash mine every two or three days. When I straighten my hair once a week, daily, every other day, I'm a cosmetologist so yes, about two or three times a week. Well, these products help the natural nail grow. A-Pink most definitely does because A-Pink has vitamin D and calcium in it. Vitamin E, I'm sorry. Dry shampoo till I have to. Every Saturday and Wednesday. Every other day. LOL, my hair is oily. Once a week. Okay, there we go. So we got our base ready for the sticker. So which one should we do? Also, some naughty. I like, this one's kind of cool. Take your silicone tool and very slowly and very firmly begin to press. Remember, we don't want any bubbles, we don't want any wrinkling. Mama, when a sticker is hard to pull off, that means she is quality. Silicone tool and press firmly yet slowly. And remember, keep the sticker as far away from the edge as possible. If you get too close to the edge, give it a quick little trim. And you can see these stickers are actually a lot harder to wrinkle or crinkle because of the new technology that we're using. You already know enochcouture.com is always ahead of the innovation. Should we put the bad word at the top? What do you guys think? Or should we do another little teddy bear? Or should we put the, the naughtiness up top? These are the bad teddy. What do you guys think? Another teddy bear or the bad words? I see one for bad words. Top naughty. Bad words. Bad words it is. For the fantasy. Oh. Press firmly. Get all those bubbles out. 
get all those wrinkles. Dope. Because the stickers are so thin, you can layer them as well. So this one's too close to the edge, so you gotta go in and trim. Just like that. Beautiful. So now we're going to go in with two layers of gel top coat, okay? The first one is going to be Dom Top. And we are going to begin to encapsulate everything. So take a nice little dollop, up at the cuticle, and then frost it over the entire nail. And keep it thicker at the middle and thinner at the sides, okay? So yesterday Yoli was here and she was singing Lukenbach, Texas and I had to google what Lukenbach, Texas is or what's there and apparently it's like a, I don't want to say a truck stop but it's like a, a tourist destination only 13 people live in Lukenbach, Texas That. Isn't that dope? So turn the hand upside down for a few seconds. Let itself level out for about 30. Oh, look at that surface structure though. So snapped. So we're gonna freeze this for 30 seconds and then we're going to go in with one layer of Wonder Gel on top. So let's go in and apply our layer of Wonder Gel. Nice also, and we're gonna float it on. This is really going to just melt everything. Remember, thin on the side, thicker in the middle. Turn the hand upside down and we're going to do a little layer of Wonder Gel on the inside because this phalange is clear and we want to keep it a Cinderella glass slipper as possible. So 
so dope. Focus camera. And turn the hand upside down. 30 seconds. Gonna put the stickers away because we don't want them to get ruined. Another little cool hack because of humidity and the air exposed to the sticker. If you want your stickers to stay fresh, get you those little silica pouches or something to absorb humidity where you store your stickers to keep them fresh. There we go, look at that. So let's bake this for one minute. Let's see what's going on. Wonder gel. She said, nope, wonder gel. Wonder is more of a rubber top coat and Dom is a hard, thick top coat. That's right. Dom top is like shiny, but thicker. So it has almost like a, not necessarily a builder gel, uh, builder gel like consistency, but it is definitely the thickest of the three and the most firm. So it will definitely make the nails feel really rock hard and it gives a lot of volume. And shiny is ultra thin. And people love shiny for varnishing chromes on it. That's why I always do a layer uh, before I put stickers on or uh, sliders or anything of shiny. So that way I get a really smooth, rubbery surface. I don't cure it all the way. Beautiful. So I'm just going to take my twiggy, make sure everything is in place. Make sure she got her spanks on. Make sure the sides are nice and straight. Whoops. Cotton candy cubic oil, ready? Beautiful. the lighting. But look how smooth the surface is of the nail. Can you guys see that line go straight up and down? There's no bumps or lumps. It really gives you that super seamless fantasy. That's why I think the camera is having such a hard time trying to focus because it's so smooth. Oh, and then these ones look terrible. I need a fill. Painted, doesn't it? And that glitter, see, look, that sticker is over glitter, and look how smooth it is. It did not wrinkle the text. That's right, we don't want any bumps or lumps or crusties in the fantasy. Let me take this phone off the tripod because she is giving me stress because of the light. There we go. See, that is the lighting for the children. Oh, thank you! I got more badges! Boop, there it is. 
There we go. See, that is the lighting. That is the money shot right there. Ugh, obsessed. Well, my loves, Ooh, hold on one second. That is going to wrap up today's live fantasy. Quick, but super snatched for this holiday season of the dark arts. And what can I say? I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I promise I'll go on a little bit earlier. Because right now my brother's like, hurry up, we gotta go.